And my name's Anna. And my name's Archie. And this is our friend Jo. Hi, Hi Jo! Today on Anna and Archie's Broom Cupboard, we're going to learn Ooh. how to write a poem about your hands. Cool! Now, to write a poem, you don't need very much, but we need the materials list. Okay, materials list coming up. Here we go. Pen. Check. Paper. Check. We're ready to begin. Okay. Now, we're going to be thinking about all the things that we do with our hands. <laughs> but before we start that, I wanted to refer to a poem by Michael Rosen. Oh, I love Michael Rosen. Yeah. Is everybody sitting comfortably? Yeah, Michael Rosen is a very famous poet. And he wrote this poem all about the hands mm. of people that work in hospitals, nurses and doctors. Mm. Are you ready? I'm ready. These are the hands that touch us first. Feel your head Find the pulse and make your bed. These are the hands that tap your back. Test the skin, hold your arm, wheel the bin, change the bulb, fix the drip, pour the jug, replace your hip. These are the hands that fill the bath, mop the floor, flick the switch, soothe the saw, burn the swabs, give us a jab, throw out sharps, design the lab. And these are the hands that stop the leaks, empty the pan, wipe the pipes, carry the can, clamp the veins, make the cast, log the dose, and touch us last. Oh, that was lovely. Well read, Argy, and thank you, Michael Rosen. Yes, Michael Rosen wrote that about nurses. But what do you guys do with your hands? Oh, I do lots of things with my hand, Archie. Well, before we write them down, I created a little structure to help us. One I prepared earlier. Yes, indeed. Here we go. It says, these are the hands that, and it's got a space. The hands that, it's got a space. The hands that, another gap. And that these hands will, and a space at the bottom. The spaces are where we're going to write your ideas. Okay, shall I get my pen? Get your pen. Okay, pen, lid off. The first thing I want you to do, Anna, is think about something you love to do with your hands. Oh, well, well, I love drawing with my hands. Great, so we can say, these are the hands that love to draw. Okay, these are the hands that love to draw. Yeah. Great. I want you next to think about something you'd really like to improve at in the future. Mm. So you might not be good at doing it with your hands now, but you're going to improve at it in the future. Well, I would like to get better at using a pair of scissors. Great. The hands that use a pair of scissors. That use a pair of scissors. Cool. Great. The next one is about something you can remember doing with your hands that you really love. It's really about memory, something you really loved doing with your hands in the old time. What, mm. what, what, what do you love to do with your hands? Hmm, well, plant a seed. Great. So when you planted a seed, did you do it in summer? Did you do it in spring? I did it in spring. Okay. The, the hands that planted a seed in spring. That plant a seed in spring. Great. The final one is about the future. What do you want to do with your hands in the future? Mm. So it could be in five years or it could be even in 10 or 20 years. What do you want to do with your hands in the future? Ooh. Ooh. I would like to draw big paintings. Great, draw big paintings. These hands will draw big paintings. Draw 
big paintings. Cool. That's really great. We took a couple ideas, we had a couple of words, and we created this amazing poem. But before doing the reveal of this great poem, why don't we take a little journey? To the art gallery. Let me get the TV remote. TV remote, are you ready? Three, two, one. Welcome back. Those were amazing pictures, eh? They really were fabulous. Thank you very much for all your fabulous creations. And you can be part of our art gallery. All they have to do is send them in, right? Absolutely. Please take photos of your fabulous creations and send them in at Anna Bruder on Twitter, Facebook or Instagram and we'll feature you in our art gallery. It's time to have the big reveal of your hands pose. Oh, uh, Drum roll, please. Okay, here we go. Oh, These are the hands that love to draw, the hands that use a pair of scissors, the hands that plant a seed in spring. These hands will draw big paintings. Oh, well done everyone. It's amazing what you can do with your hands and it's amazing what you can do with words. We hope you've enjoyed the broom cupboard. See you again soon. Bye! Bye. It's Anna and Archie's broom cupboard.